In this movie, we're going to go over something called light linking. Now, light linking gives you the ability to create a light in Maya and control what objects it is able to illuminate. If I create a light, automatically it will illuminate the sphere and the ground plane. But with light linking, we can control whether the light is able to illuminate the sphere or not. Let me show you an example. I will create a point light. And we'll just bring this over here. Let's come in and use all of our lights. So we can see this light is illuminating the ground plane and the sphere at the same time. So let's do a render. Switch to mental ray. So we can see the light is illuminating the ground plane and the sphere at the same time. Let's come in and control how our light will be illuminating everything through light linking. So you go up to Window, Relationship Editors, and Light Linking. And there's two options. One is light centric, and the other one is object centric. With the Relationship Editor, you have all of your light sources on the left side and all of your illuminated objects on the right side. So if I select my point light, you can see everything is selected in the illuminated objects. But if I don't want the sphere to be illuminated, I can turn it off. And then if I close this relationship editor and do a re-render, now we can see that the plane is being illuminated, but the sphere is not. I was able to control what is illuminated by a particular light through the light linking options. So let's close this. And I'm going to delete this point light. I will hide the sphere. Let me come back so we can see what's going on. I just want to show you an example of why you might need to use light linking. So here we have a lamp. And if we look inside, we can see I have a light bulb in there. Now let me create a spotlight and I will move the spotlight and place it inside the lamp. all our lights on so we can see what's happening. Go to viewport two, get a better quality. And let's adjust the penumbra. I need to turn my shadows on. I will use my depth map shadows just for this example. And actually, let me turn them off first, and we'll do a render with them off. So you see we have the light being illuminated from inside the lamp. But if I turn shadows on and then do a render, we lose our light. Now I'll show you why we're losing our light. Here we have a light bulb and we have our spotlight actually inside the light bulb. So when we turn our shadows on, the light which is inside the light bulb can't escape the light bulb. It hits the inside of the light bulb and it doesn't come out because we have our shadows turned on. A way we can still have our light with our shadows coming through this lamp is by using light linking. So let's go to our light linking dialog box, light linking, light centric. So here's our spotlight, which is right here. And this is my desk lamp. And if I open this up, you can see I have my light bulb parented 
to my desk lamp. So let me unselect the light bulb. And now the spotlight will illuminate everything in the scene except the light bulb. So it'll let the light from the spotlight go through the light bulb and it will be able to illuminate and cast shadows on everything else in the scene. So there we go. We have our light back. And to show you that this is working, turn the sphere on and we should be getting shadows with the light shining on that sphere. There we go. So with light linking, you are controlling what objects that light is capable of illuminating. And if you need a light not to illuminate a certain object because it's blocking it or because you don't want light on that object, then you can control your lights through light linking. And the other um, option is the object-centric area of light linking which is the exact same thing, but instead of controlling it by the light, you can control it by the object. And you can click on the sphere and see which light sources you can make available to it. So if I turn Spotlight off and then do another render, the light will illuminate everything except for that sphere and our light bulb.